Learning to look at handwriting is actually like opening a book into someone's soul. And with a little bit of training, and it actually doesn't take that much, there's a tremendous amount that you can see about yourself, although that's the hardest part, but about other people. Because the way, and being the letter of friendship, when you look at this and you look at how someone forms their letter N, you can look at the quality of their relationships one-on-one. -on -one. You can see how they feel about themselves, how they, where they place the relationship between themselves and others. All that is actually very apparent in this letter. And so what we're teaching our children, when we're teaching them this, these forms, is that in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, this is self and this is other. In a one-on-one -on -one relationship, it's very important that we place ourselves first. Now that can sound selfish, and before you jump to that conclusion, I want to say this. There's only one person that you're going to have as a life partner that's going to be with you your entire life, and that's you. And if you don't place yourself first, and take care of yourself, and recognize your needs, and ask for those needs to be met, and do what's necessary to feed and clothe and bathe yourself. There isn't a single person in the world that's going to do that for you your whole life. It's just, they're, they're just not out there. And so when we relate to, our, to others from a place of taking care of our own needs, of being responsible for that, then we're able to enter into a relationship. If we're entering into a relationship hoping and wishing that they're going to see that we haven't X, Y, Z, or we need to be eat, or we need whatever, it's not going to work. It may work in the short term, but it's not going to work in the long term. And so this is what you can see in the letter N is this relationship between self and other. And as parents, I know I wanted to give everything to my children and make them feel loved and meet all their needs. But really the task of parents is to have our children grow up to learn to take do those things for themselves. And this is, this is all, you can see all of this in the letter N. You know how we print the letter N? Where we... Well, when you look at this, when people do this in cursive, what you see is what they've left out is this first arcade, which is their cells. And you'll see I will get handwriting from people who will, the whole thing will be cursive, except their ends. It's a giant flashing red light. This person does not know how to take care of themselves. You'll see it often in the ends, and you see it, I see it often in the M's. So in our task as parents and teachers, and we want to teach children to take care of themselves, to get their needs met, get them to put that arcade, that first arcade in there. Very important. Look at your own handwriting. Do you Are you putting that first arcade in there when you write the letter N? I mean, these are all things that you can, you can work with. And this is just one small example of one variation of one letter. But it serves as a, a, an example of what handwriting contains.